Well, the journey continues. At least we're getting close to the end here, because there's only so many chapters left. I mean, the story in this game is rather short. It's like, ten, like 10, 12 chapters long at most. It's not a very long story mode. In Kakashi mode, it's even shorter, because it's like one chapter. <laughs> Which will probably take about 30 minutes to complete when I do do it. Man, I can't be wasting time with lame missions right now. The Shirogane clan could be up to no good, and we're just sitting here. Well, now. Naruto, I have good news. It seems that the missing spirit orb has been found. It yeah. has, huh? Y you mean the one that I lost, right? What? Is there another one? Oh, uh, well, if you don't know about it, forget I said anything. I mean, it's over and done with, right? <laughs> anyway, they are calling a meeting over this development. It will be an important mission. Let's go. Got it. And they're going to have some bunch of Genin to take care of it, because why not? Why wouldn't you send your you know, most inexperienced ninja to deal with such a you know, critical mission? Like, it's always the weirdest part about this series. I have brought Naruto along. Grandma, did they really find the spirit orb? Yes, the sand ninja came upon it and have taken precautions to secure it. Obviously, we can't afford to lose it a second time. I, I told you I was sorry about that. So, where is the spirit orb now? It's at a place called Kigon Hill near the Hidden Sand Village. And, in addition to protecting the orb, ninja of the Sand and Leaf Villages are conducting research on it. Well, now... Research? What, what kind of research? They're trying to destroy it. Destroy it, of course. Their work is based on that old data Shikamaru found. So, once that research is completed, the Master Puppet can't be revived, right? Exactly. exactly. But the Shirogani clan will undoubtedly try to hinder our efforts. Especially if and succeed, because, you know, it's a Naruto story. We cannot allow them to steal the orb. Now go cooperate with the ninja of the hidden sand and protect the orb. Gotcha. So of course the master puppet's gonna get revived because we have to fight it. Like things always get worse in the Naruto universe before they get better. Like they fight Matarachi on who comes out, you know, the the source of all chakra, basically. Yeah. Like it just, it just never gets better when things involve, you know, the Naruto universe. It always gets worse first. It's like a Delhi pandemic or something, you know? It just never gets better until it hits the peak. <sighs> and that gets resolved rather quickly, despite, you know, all the hype. It's crazy. I know. Okay. Entry. Can't really do that on a guy that's knocked down, though, unfortunately. Oh, whatever. Unf yeah, it's unfortunate. You know, I, I can't, you know, ground pound him. Darn it. Where's Sakura when you need her? I know, I know. They want you to use more characters than just Sakura, so you don't get a feel for, like, everybody. But, you know, I wish Tamari was a playable character in the game, since they have a sprite for it, damn it. Okay, uh, don't you that likes to throw explosives now, finally, huh? Okay. I'm trying to finish you off, I guess. With a dynamic entry, because, you know, that's what we do. Let's just, uh, do this then. Gosh darn. These techniques are all very time-consuming. Like, seriously. He does not know how to end a fight quickly. Okay. Just fly across the field, why not? And we got hit onto that one. Come on, make it fast. Ugh. Just get up there and punch him. It's way quicker than what these dynamic entries have been doing for us. Like, it's kind of torturous watching Lee do that. Like, dynamic entry! Like, it's too slow, man. 
What's like, my fastest technique? Practically, like it's too slow. Your animations take too long. Like, like speed it up, man. Speed it up. I don't know how to speed it up. Just speed it up somehow. Yep, hidden lotus. Well, that didn't take care of these guys, but whatever. I don't know how that didn't take care of them, but fine. Haha, -ha, airborne. I guess she's part of the 501st. <laughs> airborne detachment. Well, of course we got interrupted going to Keegan Hill. Of course. <sighs> I'm not sure what I'm going to work on after this. I'll have to pick something. Though it's pretty late to be working on. Some of the stuff I'd like to be working on. Okay. Got him. Well, that ought to take care of some of these jokers, right? Well. Now let's finish you off. And speed over. Well, that was a quick stab to death there. But again, you know, the virtue we're getting out of this is jumps change. Like, like it's it's meaningless because I can get so much more, you know, somewhere else. Even for characters that can't, you know, equip all the stuff for that special. Like, there's still ways to make it work. Man, there's no end to these things. What a nuisance. Get out of the way. Apparently they're a big fan of Edward Scissor's hands. Man, if they were willing to get out of the way, they wouldn't be such a pest, though. You all right? You guys are late. The enemy started their attack ages ago! We did not think they would be here so soon! Come on! Let's hurry! Take us to you guys hurry! Alright, follow me! <sighs> you think they would have had, you know, a lot more sand ninjas guarding this place? Or they forget there's more sand ninjas than, you know, just, you know, conquer Otamari and Gara. Ooh, trying to extract it, huh? Well, no. You brats again. I should have killed you when I had the chance. What are you doing? Yeah, you really should have. What do you think? The spirit orb is mine. But because you no, have the barrier to protect it. I now have the added hassle of having to break it. Don't kid yourself, lady! We're not handing over the spirit orb! And she has her own barrier to protect herself, of course. I don't know why I thought that would work. Hey! What's going on? She's well, you know some puppets on the corner? She put up another barrier so that we cannot interfere. It's not that cunning. There's no time to be admiring her handiwork. She's gonna steal the orb. Calm down. Look. Concentrate on destroying those, and we can tear down her barrier. Which is why this technique's terrible. I'll crush them in two seconds flat. Yeah, it's gonna take us longer than that. Yep, more puppets. Truly, they never run out of these things. Like, you think they'd run out of money just trying to produce all these damn things at some point. Like, where are they getting the funds to build all these puppets? Like, where are they getting all this wood? Have they just been storing it up for centuries? Okay. Okay, that's one down. Okay. 
Let's just uh, smash you guys. I'll hopefully keep you busy for a little bit. Darn it. I guess that did work. Okay. Boom! Come on. Just shatter already. Like, I ain't got time for this. I'll take a few hits if it means, you know, breaking these things a bit faster. Oh, there goes the barrier, alright. Now what you gonna do? Now I'm coming for you. Because that barrier technique was no good! Seriously, you should put the barrier things, you know, within the confines of the barrier. <sighs> Nice lift flaps. So, is this all we should expect out of your piece of junk puppets? Shut up! Shut up! Serves they really are pieces of junk, though. If they were forbidden, they'd probably be strong, but they suck. Ah. Uh, what? One of the special models. Eh, we'll deal with it. This one ought to change your tune. Now, come on. No, it won't. It's still a piece <laughs> of crap. This is getting interesting. I wish it was getting interesting. How a real puppet handler does battle. Don't underestimate no, you won't. a puppet of the Shiro Gani clan. Well, it's hard to underestimate them. They're just so terrible. They have such low combat powers, they can't even take on Genin. I mean, come on. An army of Genin is not much of an army. Ugh. Ugh, jeez. Ugh. Okay, punch it to death. Okay. Gosh darn it. Like, it's hard to reach this thing. The only real threat of this thing is the fact it's so high up in the air, it's hard to kick it. I'm just like... Like, most people just can't get up high enough to really deliver some good kicks on it. I made them barrel with Conqueror and just shooting um, Kunai at it. How? That puppet was my specialty. How could it lose? Well, no. Well, it did. What's your plan now? Escape. I hurry up and surrender already. Oh, please. Yeah, they blinked. The next Too late. Meet, Keep telling yourself that. And no one stay behind to guard the orb. How foolish. Like, seriously, no one stay behind to protect it? <sighs> and of course she got away. I mean, why wouldn't she have gotten away? Thank you, game. For allowing her having the story to just get dragged on by, you know, the sugar guy being amazingly incompetent. Okay, I missed. Oh, well, didn't miss that time. Oh, that uh, helped take care of things. Okay. Ugh. Oh, that's how that works. Jeez. Making that look hard, damn it. She's like dodging all my throws, sir. I noticed. 
bro better. Sort of like skate better. You know, like some of those Disney movies they used to do, like Soul Skaters. You know, Team Puppin' Suds. Like, do better. Like, it's so easy. She's not over here. I could have sworn she escaped in this direction. Why would she come inside the Sand Village? Did you find her? No, she is nowhere to be no. seen. Arnhead, where could she have gone? Now we only have to put a tracker to her on her. And he's trying to show up soon anyway. It seems he was unable to stop her. Oh no, you too? Sorry, she got away. Uh, Again. We had her in a corner. She was right where we wanted her. There's nothing we can do now. We should go and report this. Kigan Hill should be okay with the reinforcement troops. Should, huh? I'm not so confident. They are Sand Ninja, after all. <sighs> Which means they're not main characters. Which means they're gonna fail. Inevitably. All right, let's do it. Well, that does it for this episode. Until next time, then. See ya.